Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is a <laughs> fairly buggy game. But just how broken can it get? Wow. If someone were to use every dirty trick and glitch they could get their hands on, could they complete the game backwards? Well, yes. Not only can you do it, this is the way he would want to go. You can do it all in under one hour. This is Security Breach Reverse Boss Order. Okay, here we go, final boss. And things are about to get very, very broken. Enjoy. So let's go for it. Fingers crossed nothing weird happens. This game, we want it to break, but we want it to break in a very specific way. Speed run? Kind of. Kind of a speed run. I don't have the skill to go fast, but I do have the will to go fast. And how that manifests is a ton of very bad decisions. So here's a quick overview of what we're doing. There are six bosses or boss-like encounters in Security Breach, and we're going to be completing those encounters in the reverse order of what was intended, and then see the end credits as quickly as possible. But before we defeat any bosses, we have to do just a little bit of prep work and collect these two abilities that we'll need to perform a bunch of glitches very soon. Our first step in accomplishing this goal is to head through this vent, which it's pretty boring. Once we get out of here, we're gonna have a little bit more agency. You'll be seeing more of later. Okay, let's go pick up our Freddo. We've just climbed inside Freddy, but we actually can't get back out. So to unlock the full ability, we need to just go where the game wants us to for a moment and head down to first aid. Oh yeah. Don't mind them, their voices are currently muted. This is because having them muted actually skips a bunch of voice lines altogether, which therefore shortens a bunch of cutscenes like the one you're seeing on screen right now. It doesn't shorten this cutscene though. <sighs> With the cutscene over, we get inside Freddy once again. But this time, by simply jumping as we do it, we unlock the full ability about an hour early. Now that we can enter and exit our dear boy, we can start using one of our main techniques for the run, and honestly, one of the most broken things in the entire game. If you jump and then get into Freddy, the entire game will deload around you, and we're gonna be using that to get around many locked doors. Initially, I plan to use this trick to go out of bounds immediately, which forces the game to respawn me elsewhere. In this case, giving me a shortcut back up to Freddy's room. Now we're gonna jump into Fred and deload everything straight away, and we're gonna fall out of bounds. But without full knowledge of how that mechanic worked, okay, <laughs> things went about as well as expected. I overwrote my previous save game, and it seems to have retained some information from that save game. So this is way later in the game. We're restarting, we're restarting. There's no way I'm gonna deal with this nonsense. If something weird happens again, then I'm gonna need to restart the game maybe. Oh my goodness, who's just gifted? Smish has gave out two community subs for every time you restart from a glitch. Oh goodness me, it's gonna be a disaster. Okay, I think we're back on track. We're back on track, guys. 100% we're good. Everything's gonna be fine from now on. Okay, Smish, I may need to reset. <laughs> okay, let's do it one more time. Okay, well, Tramac, welcome. You're in the backseat boulangerie. Help yourself to some bread. This isn't even the hard part, guys. The hard part is coming up. I know that you all love the vent section, so I decided I would just give you just one last, one last vent section to tide you over. We're never gonna go back in a vent, guys. That is the last vent, I promise you. There we go, there we go. We fell out of the map. And we're gonna be put back in Freddy's room when the game panics and doesn't know where to put me. <laughs> this is the easy part. Now I'm panicking. I'm like, wait, so when I completed the game in reverse boss order, did I break something in the game's soul? Smish. Once again, thanks for the gift sub. 
Let's push on. Here's the funny thing. Is at this point... Oh, oh, I did it. I muscle memoried, I did it. This is what happens if you accidentally get excited and jump into Freddy. Every door is locked. The pizza plex is closed. It does not want our business. And we can't get out of Freddy. <laughs> God damn it. Here we are, we're in the vent, everybody. Get your sus emotes ready. Eventually, I had to admit defeat and do the unthinkable. I'm gonna walk up the stairs of shame. We're just gonna have to walk up the stairs like Final Fantasy VII. However, with that small setback behind me, the good news was that with this trick in our pocket, so we're just gonna do this a few more times until we get to daycare, no locked door can stop us. Also worth noting that we have infinite battery. Freddy right now is basically in a cutscene state, which means we can take our sweet, sweet time. While the ability to call Freddy is unlocked after getting this cutscene, that would normally only play when you escape daycare for the first time. For some reason, this cutscene trigger exists in the game from the very beginning. The only requirement to actually trigger it is that you're inside Freddy when you pass through. Something that we can very easily achieve now. So here we go, we walked into this little part of the map and we have triggered the cutscene that plays when you complete daycare. However, getting this cutscene early has some very unfortunate knock-on effects that we'll see right at the end of the run. But for now, everything is perfectly fine and we are definitely not marked for death. So now the game is on. Here's to good times ahead. Hello, Saki Afton. We're gonna be going straight after your relative as our first target. Figuring out how to defeat Afton and then escape was an interesting process. Are you okay? In my very early glitch hunting research, I saw many things that man never should, such as several instances of true double Freddies. Beautiful, beautiful teamwork. A point of view shot of Gregory killing Freddy like we're in the goddamn Lion King. And gaining the ability to shoot Afton with a laser gun during the cutscene. But sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself before we worry about any of that. To get there and even have a chance to fight Afton, we have to do one of the longest strings of deloads in the entire run. Now we're on a laser focused track to Roxy Raceway, which can be easier said than done. Freddy, where the heck are you? For a couple of Freddy related reasons. Freddy, this isn't helpful. So while we wait for our fuzzy friends to cooperate, I don't want to revent Freddy. What are you doing? What better time than now to pop all the rules on the screen for what's required in this run? Freddy! Pause here to have a nice long read of them. Buddy! Or if you trust me to handle all the details for you, let's just crack on. Oh my word. So here we are in Roxy Raceway. We're ready to take down Afton now. But first, I'm going to turn the sound back up. Because one of these items glitches if you don't have the sound up. Of course it does. Second, grab this robot head that sets the time of day to 5.15 a.m. This four hour leap into the future activates all the remaining bosses, including Afton. Good job. And finally, we have to save our game in Roxy Raceway. So with all that done, it is time for the main event. So now we've got the worst part of the run, the Afton fight. But what makes Afton so tough in this challenge run? Well, that is a very big question. So buckle up for a very big answer. Although the Afton fight itself isn't too challenging, the really tricky part is how we continue the run after completing it. With most bosses, we can simply walk in, kill them and walk back out. But to defeat Afton, we need to press a button that also happens to trigger the final cutscene of the game. So in order to escape, we need to find a way to retain control in that cutscene and use this control to navigate our way back up to the main pizzaplex. 
Well, luckily for us, there is one form of gameplay that is capable of both of these things. Being caught by an enemy. If we could somehow get grabbed and reload somewhere in the main pizzaplex after Afton was technically defeated. Yes. Okay, so now this save is canonical, we have beaten Afton. We could at least close our eyes and pretend that there's some continuity there. Afton is definitely dead. And so a hunt began for a way to get got in the final cutscene. If the battery runs out, he kills you? Yes, but this particular ending, that is not an option. The battery just doesn't drain. And to make our quest for death even harder, all animatronics despawn the frame you press that button. Ruling all of them out as candidates to be our teleportation tool as well. But there was one enemy that apparently never despawns. For whatever reason, the tentacles from Molten Freddy or whatever it is, they don't despawn. They're the only thing that doesn't. We want this to be the final button, because this is the closest button to great proximity. There it is. So with a well-timed jump and plenty of momentum, there it is. It's all aboard the Tentacle Express out of the final cutscene. So, with that intentional save in Roxy Raceway, and by making sure we skip a usually forced checkpoint with some tactical deloading, there we go, we are in, we're on the stage. Perfect. Our escape plan is ready to go. Now we just have to actually execute all of that. How hard could that be? We really want to keep an eye on Freddy here. We cannot have him wandering off. Okay, he's running the other way. And straight down. If you could help me count, that does help. Otherwise, I have to sing. We need to count to eight. Every time we burn him, we count one number. I mean, honestly, I'll probably sing either way. So we need tentacles out and nearby the button. However, getting the tentacles to come out is easier said than done. Roxy is the worst one. Normally, you would get her to leave by using one of Freddy's upgrades, which we don't have and will never have. So, we've got to find a different way to get Roxy to leave. Because when she gives up and runs away, that is when the tentacles have a chance of coming out. What if she doesn't leave? Six. Then it's trouble. Oh no. Okay. Plan B. Come on. Uh oh. <laughs> this is very bad. Give up! Can I... Can I die? Is this hold X to close instruction card stopping me from dying? No, it isn't. Here we go. Afton try to. I'm not, I am not going back to that vent. No way. Why is the door got no power? Is that, oh, sugar. I just left the door shut. Whoops. Yeah, so that is seven. She's gone. If we start to hear a glurgling, the tentacles come her. Here we go. Ready? No! I got inside Freddy! No! Mission failed! We'll get him next time. We are getting better. We're making this ending more consistent, aren't we? Number five, number five. The run is alive. We're at number five, but now we're at six. I've got some tricks. Some tricks to get Roxy off my sticks. <laughs> I don't have a SoundCloud. Maybe I will after this. Okay, I hear her running. Okay, she's gone. See? It works. The system works. You stay there. Here we go. Got it. Yes, task failed successfully. <laughs> so the tentacle grabbed us at the same time as Afton. And he threw us. What, where did he throw us? <gasps> he threw us back up to Roxy Raceway. Freddy, he saved us. Okay, next thing's next. <laughs> We're going to kill Roxanne. Here she is, she doesn't know what's about to happen to her. You just wait. Thank the heavens, it is time for an easy one. Now, how do we kill Roxy before we kill the DJ? Well, if you watched my video, then you probably know the answer to this one, because I actually did that in my casual playthrough. <laughs> do a deload here. And we back onto this tarmac, and we should be safe. But does this skip even still work with the game already twisted in knots thanks to my earlier exploits? Hang on. Nope. 
<laughs> I thought we had a problem. We do not. Believe it or not, there was no edit there. A surprisingly large area of Roxy Raceway will instantly trigger her death cutscene. Which is very unfortunate for her. Split. <laughs> With Roxy officially roadkill, it is time to escape the third basement area of the run so far by opening this vent with our screwdriver. Right, we never got the screwdriver. Now we don't have the screwdriver, so normally we wouldn't be able to get out of here. But if we do a deload and fall into the void, yes, we are going to try the same technique from the start of the run, but this time we actually know what we're doing. The location security breach reloads you at when you fall out of bounds is the last save point that you loaded from. This means that in a brand new game where you haven't reloaded from any checkpoints, it is entirely possible to fall out of bounds and appear in a location from a completely different save file. Hence, you know, all of this. But luckily for this run, as part of killing Afton, we have already loaded back at Roxy Raceway. So all we need to do is steal her delicious eyes. Eyes acquired. Hop in Freddy. Useless! Where are you? Uh oh. Thank God! You- And deload our way out of her freshly dug grave without so much as a whiff of screwdriver. We've escaped. Now it's time to kill the music man. Completing the DJ music man encounter is a challenging feat. Oh no! At the best of times. You've never seen Monty's jump scare before. I know that, that's why I did it. So now let's do this for real. And it is much worse in reverse boss order. As you may have noticed, we're going through the game backwards, so we don't have any weapons. We don't have a flashlight. We don't even have the cameras. So that is super challenging, but not impossible. All I really needed to do was get good. <laughs> As if I'd get good. Look, we just found a way to break it instead. The Fazcade there, that's our next destination. But we're not gonna go there straight away. Instead, we're gonna go to Bonnie Bowl. Freddy, you stay there like a good dog. Now we're getting some Monty Mystery Mix, and we need this to kill Chica, but the real reason is because being back here will actually give us a huge advantage for DJ Music Man. The developers intended Freddy to not be able to enter the Music Man section. But with a deload through this wall in Bonnie Bowl, we can smuggle our boy inside. And because he's not supposed to be in this section, he's gonna have infinite battery while we do it. With the ultimate weapon of friendship on our side, this part really is as trivial as you want it to be. Hi Chica, how you doing? Good to see ya, I think you went that way. That being said, there's nothing wrong with getting a little spicy and doing some bits on foot. Never mind, I take it back. Here we go, time for the big moment which we will just not be partaking in. No, thank you. We're gonna just be able to ride inside his body. And there we go. Now, this section isn't over quite yet because we need to see DJ Music Man dancing. He be vibing though, that's a split. Okay, that is DJ Music Man done. If you see the DJ, say hello. He is such a nice fellow. Freddy, you saw him a moment ago. Are you okay? Lucky us, Monty is just over there in Mazer size. We've now gone far enough back in Security Breach to reach the point where the game gives us an option of two bosses. Since there's no official order to reverse for these two, I'm just gonna pop them in alphabetical order and reverse that. So first up, onto Monty. Now this is another difficult bit, and this is where we save ourselves from having to deal with another vent. There are two ways to get to Monty. You can either go through the daycare theatre section to move a maze, which is far too slow, or we can just do the old classic and deload ourselves into the vent. Then pop out of this grate with the screwdriver. But... Right, we're gonna need a third way. So just what is this magical third way? 
We can come here and we can use Freddy as a little booster to get on top of the vent rather than going inside it. Come on, come on. Can take a little bit of elbow grease. Elfernic, how are you doing? You join me as I'm rubbing my face up and down a vent. I just can't believe that the vent is what's gonna lose me all my time. Be right back, Tremac. Don't worry, we'll still be here when you come back. Tremac's not gonna miss anything. First try. Easy. And now, when we stand here, it's gonna load in the Jolf course. We actually can't walk here, there's an invisible wall. But if we jump around enough and we wiggle just right, there it is. Now let's save, because I'm not doing that again. No way. In my personal best, I did a sick kickflip off this gate, which gives Monty stage fright and lets me complete this shooting gallery section in complete privacy. However, that's certainly not the only way that this section can go. Oh my goodness me! Freddy's gate crashing the cutscene. <laughs> there he goes. That Wild West cinematography. Holy. I deleted Monty. I should look into how I did that. What if I block him? You stay... Oh, sugar, he doesn't get blocked. I don't even know where he is. Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> There's the boy. <laughs> um... I'm stuck. I can't do anything. I'm dead. I'm dead. Get, just gotta get to the front. That was uncalled for. When he breaks his spine, that's when we split. And split. Okay, let's claim our prize. We're actually going to pick up our first and only weapon. Oh no, I, I, I was an event, wasn't I? Oh no. Okay, next is Chica. And in the back hallway. Okay, Freddy. Since there is no flash photography allowed in Monty Golf. Fast I am your friend. Yeah, that shut you up. So now we're on our way to Chica. So we are going down here. Da, da, da. But we should be in the basement proper and I believe we've got infinite battery again. So next up, we need to find the generator and place the Monty Mystery Mix in the trash compactor. Initially, I just plan to follow the intended path without any hijinks. No, Freddy, no! Get out of there, Freddy! Okay, without too many hijinks, I've got no choice. This is what Freddy would want. But the real issue comes after the fatal blow. Now we just gotta escape from the sewer. With just how incredibly long the escape from Chica's sewer domain really is. Now, sadly, we can't do what we can do with Roxy because Freddy is uncallable. I can't get Freddy down here. Yes, even though Freddy is constantly getting places he shouldn't be in this run, this basement is where the game finally puts its foot down and says no. Freddy is just totally, metaphorically, dead here. Tronmo, I looked for ways to break this. I really did. And I found plenty of ways to break it. Oh, this is not good. But none that broke it in my favor. If you could find a way to glitch out of this section, that would be way quicker. And you know what? They were right. So after some more research in the speedrunning Discord, I came back with a few new tricks. We're not playing this as intended no more. And now we're gonna attempt a skip. Wow, which skips the first generator. That sound took me by surprise, I'll be honest. Swelling with confidence after skipping the first generator, I decided live on stream to try a brand new spicy Gregory only method of going out of bounds in Trashland, which would let us escape the entire section early, just like Roxy's basement. 
But without any planning, where would the game even spit us out after we fell into the abyss? And fall out of bounds. Yes. The realization of just how badly I messed up comes in three, two, one. Uh oh, I have detected an issue. We no longer seem to have Freddy. Maybe this skip was a bad idea. It looks like the skip skips the part where you get Freddy back. Meaning that Freddy is now dead everywhere. Oh my God, I actually killed him in the crusher. This means no more D loads, no more Freddy Master Key. If we've lost Freddy, then there's nothing we can do. And no more run. Well, this is the run, I guess. Unless. Maybe the way to do that Chica skip is to get the save outside daycare instead. If I save and then quit out in the daycare entrance, I'll land right outside daycare and I don't need to get that ticket. That would be pretty good. So much like a baby Chica, the plan was hatched. Next run, I'd save in the daycare entrance hall after defeating Monty, quit to the main menu and reload, get to Chica's litter lodgings and all the way here without dying or saving, then clip out of bounds like we did before, and the run is alive and everything's going to be all right forever. Down we go, we're sliding into fun. It's the last boss. But thankfully we're at the start of the game. Us not having Freddy is actually intentional at this point. It's the intended experience. Oh, those simple days where I thought the worst was behind me. <laughs> so don't do that. Don't do that. Arriving at this point in the game last made the moon and sun drop act a little strange. Wow, I, he shaved his head for a second there. What the heck happened there? But sure that it was all just some general jank. Freddy is opening doors somewhere. I pressed on and got banned from daycare and defeated the final boss of the run. And look, we even got Freddy back exactly as planned. Oh, thank God. Freddy is completely repaired. Now all I had to do was deload my way back to Fazerblast and Mother flipper. Okay. Well, good news is that that checkpoints you right after the fight. Okay. Actually good, I think. So we don't need to redo that section and we can just deload our way back to Faz... Okay, maybe not actually good. Maybe not actually good. Yes, I'd like to introduce everybody here to the true final boss of Security Breach, Gigamoon. We need to get out of here now! After getting banned from daycare, a moon chase begins, which only ends when you get that cutscene that we've already used. Without that cutscene to stop it, the moon will hunt you down no matter what. And if he does get you, even one time, <sighs> he checkpoints you right here in the daycare entrance. Yeah, this is bad trapping you in his sphere of influence and effectively softlocking the game. Let's reload. But here's the thing. So, gonna start a new game. He doesn't only chase you in linear time. I'm kind of confused by the music right now. Is that Moon? Honestly, I actually don't know what's going on right now. Okay, I'm gonna restart the game. I'm gonna restart the game. <laughs> One second. This final boss, this Giga Moon, is now on the hunt for you in every timeline. Please don't have the moon somehow survive into this save game. The moon takes his job as the last boss very seriously. Okay, I can still hear moon. Thankfully, there is a way to prevent this fate. And that's by jumping into Freddy to deload the second you get him back. You're damn right I'm jumping in. And hauling your ass as far into the void as possible at lightning speed. But do be careful not to actually fall out of bounds. Oh god, where am I going to end up? 
because after Chica Skip, the last save point that you loaded from is guaranteed to be at least somewhere in daycare. And if that happens, good luck. Well, I'm not a fan of how close I am to the daycare still. Please don't kill me, Moon. 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 Okay, we're safe. I genuinely flinched. I was terrified. We are safe. But without any guarantee for how long, we've only got one thing left to do. Get to Fazerblast, deload into the bad ending, and don't mess it up. That moon is a real mean boy. He really doesn't want you escaping the game, especially not in such a pristine state. Now we just gotta get to Fazerblast. And we need to get the Vanny ending. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ready? We're gonna, we're gonna finish the game, everyone. Here we go. Yeah, we're gonna come here. Ah, uh, should I save first? Nah. No! <laughs> Only a loser baby would save the game. We don't do that, we're going fast. Let's take it slow. Let's not embarrass ourselves now. Don't judge me. Coward. <laughs> there we go, it's like here. This is where I wanna be. And then just don't touch anything. Okay, I am. Okay, good job we saved. Whoa, no, 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 no. You do not wanna walk in there because the door shuts behind you and you get trapped. This is the make or break. This is what's gonna decide if this is an embarrassment or not. There we go. Once we are inside the bad ending's basement, there's no more need for deloading. And since running is a little faster, it's time to ditch Freddy and sprint to the end. And time! Two hours and five minutes. Oh, that's time. A stream personal best of one hour, 28 minutes. That is over half an hour faster than our one last time, but we can do better. Time. One hour, 24 minutes. Is that the best on stream now? And that is how I beat Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, defeating the bosses in the reverse order in under an hour. If you'd like to see my best run in its entirety without commentary, there's a link to exactly that in the description, as well as at the end of this video. And if you're feeling brave and would like to watch the VODs of some of my less graceful attempts, I have no idea what's going on. They can all be found on my Twitch page here. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you'll stick around.